We're totally immune and we're ready to go, but we might have crashed, so I'm gonna wait. Are we alive? <laughs> but supposedly, but we're gonna wait. I can because I don't see anything. Oh wait, I see no, it. There we're I am. here. We're here. Oh yeah, my gosh, I guys! Oh my gosh, it's been an exciting two weeks. I got shot in the arm once. I threw up 17 times. I I masturbated a lot. I mean, a lot. We didn't need to know I don't know, know what have you guys been up to? I get... Uh, just as a reminder, this is for mature audiences only. I get shot that in the arm. Bed, I get shot in the arm t- uh, in two days, so... Yeah, I got my vaccine two weeks ago. <coughs> Johnson and Johnson! I don't... Yeah get it because i'm not qualified yet he's not special enough how how are you not qualified why i'm wearing this are you over the age of 16 yes i think does that make you qualified pretty much everywhere now i don't think so not mass yet oh i don't think so and i've been working the whole time qualified in like ohio and california i know that and i've been working the whole time yeah he should be all right. Anyways, are we gonna get this? Let get this party started. Let's get this party started. Hey, everybody! This is Murder Hobo, the Cred campaign. Cause if anything here needs cred, it's this campaign. <laughs> uh, first, let's go through all the uh, fun stuff. <laughs> you navigating son of a bitch. <laughs> we'll navigate through these few things we have to say first first follow us on twitch follow us on twitter if you want to check out our archive you can find those over at youtube uh if you want to get a hold of us and maybe play in some of our one shots you can find us at twitter or at mhoboinc at gmail.com if you want to buy some cool D D stuff of the murder hobo variety you can get phone cases you can get shower curtains uh you can get fleshlights uh it's all great watch out they put the knife in the tip of the flashlight warning you may want to remove that section first or not you know bifurcation is expensive these days and that's probably the cheapest way to go about it if you want to hit us up on discord talk about what horrible things i have planned for these adventures uh not this day i'm not going to talk to you about it right now that's ridiculous i'm running a show i have things to do But you can hit us up on our Discord channel if you want to do that. You can also, if you take a look somewhere around the screen, uh, showing up is going to be a podcast version in case you don't want to see our beautiful faces. But just listen to uh, uh, DJ's attempt at doing a Valley Girl uh, accent as he (laughs) plays both his character, Bran, and Cleo, who is missing tonight. Unfortunately, she also received the shot and is not feeling well so uh oh, sucks to be rough. you we're gonna ruin your character's life uh and since that's cleo uh caitlin for you let's go around and introduce everybody else anja carol which you character go. are you what is your actual <laughs> name we'll I'm find playing. out come on we all know the character play it's taryn right no 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 no. yeah taryn that yeah. was in we the other campaign <laughs> Should be more than limping. I mean, but hi everyone. My name is Carol. I'm a longtime gamer, occasional GM, and a commission mini painter. And in this campaign, I play Anja Jaeger. Uh, my what am I? Oh my, am I half elf? I'm so yeah. I'm all your half elven ranger. It's always safe if you don't know what your character is. You're most likely a half elf. Yeah, I know exactly, right? Yeah, I've also been I've also been like friggin' work has been crazy, so I'm half brain dead. Yeah, tonight. All right, Ernie, Riley, whichever one you go by, who are you? And uh, tell us a little bit about yourself. All right, so I'm playing uh, Riley the Navigator, who is a uh, half elf warlock, and uh, he's just happy as can be, reading all the documents he swiped from uh, a mansion earlier, and. Uh, He's going to try and navigate this ship uh, carefully to uh, Farzine. We're going to die. I got new star charts. It's uh, going to sink. To it's going to sink. <laughs> uh, gonna by die. the way, uh, before we even get any further of this, this session can be thanked wholly on Ernie. This is all Ernie's fault. Whatever happens this session, 
we'll find out here in a bit. Speaking of terrible things happening to terrible people, DJ, Bran, we introduced you a little bit earlier today. You got anything else you want to add? No, I'm pretty much just the only one that apparently... You know what? I, I actually feel that I'm appropriate as a plague doctor since I haven't been able to get the vaccine yet. Yeah, that's, that's it, fair. It works. Oh, and finally, because I'm not Carol, I'm not a terrible host, uh, uh, you can catch some of our cool episodes of Between the Roles. Uh, Carol was the host last Tuesday, but because I'm not a terrible host, let why, me tell you about you our sponsors, I'm a ter- I Pirate did. Dog Dice, for when you're rolling <laughs> like shit, like these guys inevitably will tonight, Pirate Dog Dice. They do all 20 D20s. You will Ooh. win at d d It's a thing. Uh, if you I really want to win, you get their all one D twenties, and that's great for storytelling. And finally, on or navigation, game, or navigation. Finally, if your game stinks, pick up some adventure sense. I suggest putrid sewers. You just chop it up <laughs> into fine little bits, and you just do a line, and you are ready to go <laughs> for any D and D session. It'll wake you up real good. Now make and, you choke to death, really? Yeah. Well can't breathe whatever now we're gonna have to add a warning that uh uh adventure sense does not endorse uh Kyle's Provided. comments <laughs> adventure they sense doesn't but i do put that warning <laughs> no time says, pod challenges <laughs> if you know kyle ignore him and anything he suggests to do with our product do not have, yeah there's actually right. a picture I like that Frank said wrote, do not huff adventure sense. Ah, but um that is called a pun there. Um and finally the Shine Project. If you're writing a cool story, um, unlike the one that I've written for these guys, use the Shine Project. It'll turn out a lot better than what I've ever written. Uh, and ask all the important questions. Oh my gosh, Carol's huffing one of those. That's events. right. What's That's wrong a, with you? <coughs> it's not future twos. It's the tavern one. Oh, you're, oh it's yeah, so it's that good. cigar smoky air of the it tavern. Smells Skinner a bit coffee. like. Smells a bit like uh, smoke. It's got a smoky uh, flavor, like cook. You know, uh, a wood fire. She said, "Kush." No. Yeah, yeah. Angela you know Ganja. What I'm doing. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my gosh, I don't have to introduce Caitlin tonight. That makes this a lot faster. I was hoping it would be a lot longer. So, let's see. Uh, quick recap as to what happened last time. You guys escaped from the fish town of Rizante. Uh, fishy town of Rizante. Uh, maybe fish e town of Rizante. Uh, with terrible words. And you started last session in a sea that was unmoving eerily quiet and you were attacked by horrible monsters from the deep the likes of which have not been seen in a god's age heavily chanting you fought your way you tried to defeat it but the first mate aiden pasela stabbed and sacrificed your captain captain kenza unleashing a torrent of blood into the water summoning a monstrous creature which then woke you up from your dream april fools it was a wonderful time everyone bought into it no one no one thought it was a fake dream or anything like that caitlin damn you um and with that we just kind of worked through downtime what you guys were doing dissecting books uh you read through the journals of the walby family you read through the Fen Manor. Uh, what did I call that? It was a scientific accounting book. accounting book slash scientific journal owned by one of the late Fen ancestors, supposedly. Um, didn't read the letters you got. Went through any loot you had and tried to calm your minds from some crazy dread you got. Uh, during that time, Bran himself found special interest as he took a turn reading the Walby journals. And I think we will start there tonight. Mwahahaha. Mwahahaha. 
You remember so, how you got rid of all your points of dread, Bran? Welcome back! <laughs> <laughs> no. Uh, so we begin over the shoulder as Bran leads through the glass of the Walby journals, one written by Beatrice Bertie Walby. And the camera zooms in and we begin to work and you can read some of the letters. Overlapping, we hear this voice of an old woman. This evening, my darling Isabel will come of age and will be accepted into Dagon's folds. Everything we have prepared for her comes to fruition. And the camera does black. And we reopen a scene in a black and white image back to the town of Rosante. Not quite as much uh, mold. The buildings are more intact than they were when you had been there. The people slightly jovial and dressed in riches of all sorts, although still with a strange look. The camera rolls through the village up to the uh, esoteric temple of Dagon, passing by some of the older houses. And just before we get past Fen Manor, the camera takes a sharp turn to another mansion and we settle in to one of the rooms where we see two women, one a very young woman sitting in a chair having her brush, hair brushed by an older woman. Overhead we read more of the book. She will finally understand that pain is worth immortality and riches. And we see this older woman, her hair is big, finely dressed. Her daughter, uh, one would assume is Isabel, also uh, in the stages of getting ready. Her mother is brushing her hair. And uh, for those of you who know, she's not being altogether gentle with it. And you can see as Isabel winces as a knot, it's just kind of ripped out of her hair oh. on occasion. And this woman is just silently babbling and poking at this and that as she continues to brush her hair. Again, the voice goes over. And that childish romances are just that. Childish. They don't last. We skip ahead and we see our, we're outside Fen Manor. There are about 10 young individuals all around the ages of 20 to 25 and they're being slowly marched into Fen Manor which looks a lot nicer at this point. We can see a storm come raging in and as Isabel last in line begins to walk in she looks up at the building lights darkened the doors open ahead and we see various members of the town of Innsmouth dressed finely in gold and riches. And as she enters in, she clutches at a locket around her neck. Again, the narration, the smell of the sea storm coming in promises good fortunes to us tonight. Only the best of things happen and the thing we call from the deep gives more openly during these times. And we are outside Fen Manor again, only a massive storm is rocking and shaking the shutters. Rain is drenching down. And we hear, see lightning crack. And for the first time, we hear a scream immediately cut off by the sound of rolling thunder. The front door flies open and we see Isabel Walby running out when some giant hand reaches out to clutch at her and grab something around her neck. She's held in place and with feverish abandon, she jerks her neck free. As her locket falls down, we see her feet running as fast as we can away. And we zoom in as rain falls down around the locket. To my first 
and my only love is Bell Walby. The initials underneath J Z. And as you read about this storm, we go back to Bran reading about this storm, and it's so vivid that you can hear the rain pounding down as if you were in a storm yourself, as if you were in a storm yourself. Captain Kenza shouts, Storm's approaching! And for those on deck, which would be most likely Cleo and Anja, while this has been happening down below, you do see a terrible storm raging in. The largest hurricane that you have ever seen. Oh, shit. And with that, Bran, Riley, Anja... Give me a dexterity saving throw. Save. Bran, since you were distracted, and Riley, you were distracted, please at disadvantage. Okay, not terrible. 17. 17, you're good. 7. 7. You fall prone on the ground as a wave starts to shake the ship. Riley? 13. 13. You are okay. And this captain is starting to shout orders to uh, tie up the sails, leave the top sail open, and the ship's crew are working on that. And... Anja, you are actually above the ship. Yep. You see as Matwa, one of the dwarf triplets, falls off from the top floor and lands with a crack on the deck of the ship. And the rain starts coming in harder and harder. What would you guys like to do? I want to check on the, the dwarf. Dwarf, okay. He is quite a distance from you. As you move forward, the deck is very slippery. Noting that you are able to get to Matwa. And make a medicine roll for me. Oh, God. I don't I don't have a train, so... But I will... I'm not really trying... Oh, that's not terrible. 14? He ain't dead. He's moaning, but he's clutching at his arm something fierce. Medic! I'm going to try to find, I'm going to pick him up. Did I know Bran was uh, below deck? You know Bran was below deck, but before we get any further than that, okay, we'll go ahead and move on to Riley. Bran, what are you guys doing? As the storm starts to crash in, you are all below deck. Um, yeah, I make sure that all of my documents and star charts and everything are sealed away in my little satchel, and I go up to the deck. Okay. You get up to the deck, you see uh, Anja over Matwa, you hear the captain yelling orders, uh, telling everyone to get the riggings tied up, leaving the top sail. Uh, yeah, I'm going to try and help out best I can with the rigging. All right, make an acrobatics check, please. All righty. Nat one. <laughs> You're shitting me. Nope. You know <laughs> what? That. Whew, roll a D100. Oh, no. Oh, no. This is going to be bad. Or good. <laughs> there is the pen. Uh, 65. 65. It is not good. You manage to climb up the rigging when that nat one hits you and you fall, taking 10 points of damage as you two. Ooh fall to the ship with a thud. Bran, you hear thud, thud. Not thud. again. So I will pick myself up off the ground mm -hmm. and uh, frantically look for the book that flew out of my hand, uh, retrieving that at pretty much all costs first. Okay. Uh, did I hear the scream from Medic over the storm? At this point, yes. 
we are at uh, the start of the storm. It's going to get worse, boys. I will tuck the book away tightly inside my robes. Uh, okay. Make sure I grab my medical kit and then head up to the deck to see what is wrong. Yeah. You have the advantage here. You're wearing masks, so you don't have this water blinding your eyes, although it is covering up your lenses. Not too far from you, you see Matwa, and a little bit farther, you see uh, Riley on the ground. Uh, <laughs> is Riley writhing, or it, like which one's moving around, and which one's still? Uh, Matwa is probably the worst off as he's clutching his arm, not moving too much. Riley. What are you doing as you f- have fallen down? Um, you put it in your own words. Oh man! So how how far did I fall? You fell about twenty feet. Oh wow! Uh, so I, as a skinny little book nerd, not used to doing much activity, fell twenty feet. Probably got the na- wind knocked out of him, and is is probably laying on the ground like not sure what's going on, like staring up into the sky and like kind of groaning, maybe trying to get his breath. All right. I'll go to the dwarf first since he's clearly clutching his arm. All right. And then I go, I go to, I go to Riley. Are you okay? Uh, I don't know. I, I think so. We, we need to, we need to take care of the rigging. (laughs) I would do here. Um, let me see. I could cast good berry. How many berries do I get? Let's see. Uh, the, I, I'll be okay. Take care of the rigging. All right, all right, all right. Um, fine, then I'll leave that and uh, I will go try to help with the rigging. Sure. You begin to climb the rigging. I'll have you roll in a second. Um, the skies continue to get darker and darker. There is a light in the far distance that remains bright, but it also begins to fade as you guys are slowly plunged into pitch blackness. Like some sort of storm or something like that. I don't know. Someone someone may have heard about this. Uh, go ahead and give me your acrobatics. One, 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 one. No, that's not a one. That's not uh, awesome, but that's a one. That's a 14 total. Yep. 14. You start climbing up. You slip Ow. at one point. Lightning <sighs> flashes across the sky, and it's a brilliant green fire. Weird looking lightning. Weird looking lightning. If you want to make a, the survival check, you can. Uh, anyone here can do that after seeing that. Uh, I can. Let's see. Survival is one of the things I have trained. Oh, that is a uh, 923. 19. Anyone else? 18. Yep. Yep. Oh, yeah. Cleo is fast asleep on the ship. Turns out the hammock is really great for storms. Yeah. Rocks you right to sleep. <laughs> you all realize that this is no natural storm although Riley you've heard rumors about this thing happening in the area before interesting is it mm-hmm. similar because wasn't the, the sky greenish tint in the dream as well with the moon large in the sky and with the moon large in the sky, there was the moon itself was green. Almost. Interesting. Okay. I, I was thinking, was the mist green? I can't remember. One of you guys wrote really good notes. Uh, the moon was shining so oh, green okay. that it turned, turned to mist, mist green. green. Yeah. Yeah. I, do remember, I do <laughs> thought I remember hearing something about that, but okay. I have it's... Anyway, Anja, this green lightning flashes across, but you managed to pull yourself up onto the mast uh, and you start tying up the sails Um, at this point though you can't see the deck below you you can't see if there's someone tying the sails on the other side although you did see that uh, 
one of the other half elves, Cassa, was the Cassa. I think she's the one who uh, was very distasteful of you, actually. But she's busy tying up the under sails. But she's gone in a moment's notice too in this black storm. Um, what's the condition of uh, our friend the dwarf? <coughs> friend the dwarf, make a medicine check. I'm sure you'll get it. Sixteen. Sixteen. Uh, his arm is broken, and he is uh, not doing too well. Um, with healer, I can at least stabilize and bring somebody just one hit point without use of the uh, charge of the kit. Uh, at this point, I will do that and instruct him to go down and basic and make sure that he's safe before I head back up to deck. Sure. Uh, and he wakes up, clutching in his arm. Oh, thank you, thank you. And Jeremiah comes running up from below decks. <gasps> hey, guys! And he actually grabs onto the dwarf. I, I've got him from here! And he helps him down below decks. Uh, what before... appears to be the next thing that needs to be done here for uh, safety of the ship. Honestly, with the storm raging, no one can see what's going on. There's some help to the captain you might be able to offer. You can help any of the other crewmates who are busy working themselves. Some of them are actually busy tying themselves down to the ship in an effort to just make sure they stay afloat. Water is crashing down along you. Um, I will check with the captain. Check with the captain. Okay, and that'll take some effort. Um, with that, the storm continues to rage. Blacker and blacker the seas. Waves begin to crash down onto the boat. And another lightning flash. And the sails, the top sails that are going to be used to kind of help guide your ship through the ocean catch fire. What? Not the ones you tied up, but one slightly Don't ahead. Don't care! That's bad! That's really fucking bad! And green fire flips up from this. Uh, Anja, you're up high. Riley, Bran, as you're moving on the deck, give me a dexterity saving throw or strength saving throw, your choice, as another wave or the first of many waves to come, crashes down on the ship. Okay. Um, 16. But can I also tie, try and tie myself to the ship like some of the other crewmates? Uh, you can certainly do that. Oh, okay. Yep. Oh, what do I need? Dex? Uh, well, I should have rope in my satchel. Let's mm -hmm. see here. I don't see that in my possessions. Um, is there a rope nearby? Just on the, sh I mean, we're on a ship, so I assume there's rope a lot yeah. of places. Sure, you can run over to the side, grab some rope, tie yourself off. You're gonna have advantage on any more saving throws at this point to make sure you stay on board the ship. Okay. And as long as the ship doesn't go down, you'll be fine. Oh, it's fine. If it if it starts to go down, I'll uh, <laughs> you know. Hopefully untie it or made Eldridge blast it or something. I don't know. I'll take care of it. <laughs> All right. I'll worry about that later. Bran with an eight, you are flung off the ship. And oh, make shit. a strength saving throw for me, please. Come on, Bran. And I 15. can't freaking see this. Fifteen. Okay. You are holding on to the rails as you've fallen off. No one can see you. You're most likely a dead man. When Jeremiah comes back up off the ship, hears you, and runs over to your general direction, feeling around until he manages to grab your arm. And what did I roll for Jeremiah? Cool. There's a lot of people on this ship. I pre-rolled a lot of stuff for this. So Jeremiah uh, uh, manages to pull you up on board the ship. Are you okay? 
Yes, I'm fine. Thank you. Get below deck. I can help! I think the only thing to help is to stay on board the ship. And I will try to scramble to, like, uh, one of the nearest posts. Is there anything else that needs to be taken down, like sails? So there's one sail that's on fire? You do, and this is sail is bright enough, it's close enough that it is a shining beacon, and it gives this dim light to everything else. And despite this heavy rain, and occasionally a wave even crashing upon the sail itself, it stays lit. And does it look like it's going to be in danger of burning the ship? Anything on fire on a ship is a bad thing. It's, 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 I it's consuming. I am going to start cutting the ropes that hold the sail. All right. Can I see this at all? Do I know he's doing this? Because I'm up there. I want to basically help him get that sail off the ship. Yeah, he's cutting down from below, and I'm going to need another dexterity check from you, Bran, um, as you're going to do this. Um, saving throw if that makes it easier for you same with you Anja as you crawl towards the center mast and get ready to cut this line off getting better 13 13 uh not great but that's not great uh 12 12 yeah all right well this is going to be fun as you fall 20 feet from the ship oh, mast shit. You take five damage as you manage to grab onto the sail you had tied up. And luckily the rope loosens in that area and you manage to only land on the deck taking three, or not three, I apologize, five. Thank you. Did I say five earlier? You Mm -hmm. did. I did. Wow, I didn't even notice. I'm a great DM. All right. Uh, (laughs) Bran, you managed to struggle over there. Your foot slipping, but you managed to catch yourself. Uh, go ahead and make an attack roll with your knife. Let's see if you can at least cut that portion of the sail off. Uh, yes, 23. 23. All right. You swing, you cut Six the rope. Damage. Yeah, that's a good one. You cut the rope, the sail goes flying back towards the mast. If only someone had cut it off at the top side, things would be a lot better. This is all Riley's fault. Anyway. Oh. <laughs> and what, at what's this point, uh, Masetta doing? Masetta? That is, <laughs> roll perception Still mopping. check. <laughs> what check? Perception. Oh, okay. Uh, where is my perception? All right, there we go. That is a 13. <laughs> 13. He is holding on for dear life, although he seems to be in a much better state than the rest of you. And as you look at see what Mosetta's is doing, you see this massive wave once again coming up from behind where Mosetta was and come crashing down onto the boat again. Dexterity saving throws. And I have advantage. Or strength. You have oh. advantage. <laughs> that good, huh, DJ? I rolled a one. Oh, Brand. oh a no! Six. This isn't great either. Dex dirty save, so that's another 12. 12? All right. I'll go with Dex, yeah. 19. <laughs> well, let's see. You said strength? Uh, or strength. Nah, Dex, nah, Dex is better. <laughs> okay. I got to keep the tension going. <laughs> you're fine. As you know, this wave crashes over you. You tied yourself off. That's great. Water is pouring down into the ship's hull. And <laughs> you hear man overboard from Olo, who is the female of the dwarf triplets, as her other brother, Ade, Bran, and Jeremiah who refused to go down below decks are all swept off the boat. (gasps) Oh, shit. Anja, before you get swept off, you get the opportunity to make another saving throw to catch yourself. Bran, do me a favor. Roll a d4. Oh, man. 
Yeah. Acrobatics? No, I'm sorry. Yeah. I've been saved, you said? Yep. 19. 19. You catch Four. yourself before. Oh. <laughs> all right. Honestly, this is not good for any of you. No. You are all going to die. Probably. Uh, the dwarf, uh, 15 feet away from the ship in the water, Bran, Jeremiah, you are both uh, 25 feet out in the water. And the ship is riding up, cresting up another wave, and you are going to be left behind if you don't manage to catch up to it. And with that, the water, the storm continues to grow, raging. The strength of the wind actually rips the flaming sails from the deck. And you hear the cracking of the mast, Anja, Riley. Riley, where did you tie yourself off to? Just out of curiosity. Uh, this could be good or bad for you. I don't know. I think you said I was by the rail, so I'm going to go with that. By the rail. Okay. So I'll say you saw everybody get washed overboard who ended up getting washed overboard. Anja's in close enough reach that she grabbed on. You can pull her up if you want to. Well, um, I can hold on. Have him save the others. Oh, okay. I uh, can, I'm, pr I'm pretty strong, so I sh should be able to get myself up. All right. I'll probably roll one and fall in, but hey. You hear the mast beginning to creak from the power of the wind just buffeting it. And let's go ahead and start with you, Riley. What are you doing? Well, I'm tied to the ship, so it may be hard to get people that are overboard right now. Mm. Um, is there... That is an issue, isn't it? That is an issue. Um, is there life preservers nearby? <laughs> I don't know if that's a thing. <laughs> what about a rope? I will Just say... Here, let's find out. Will you get life preservers and or rope? You can throw a rope. To I can throw a rope. Uh -huh. I am going to throw a rope towards Bran. Okay. Give so, me an athletics check. Athletics. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Ooh. 16. 16. Bran, you are treading water for the moment. Your robes are getting heavy. Also, give me an athletics check. Nine. You are sinking. <laughs> but you see as another flash of lightning overhead uh, encompasses the area. You see this rope splash into the water right next to you. You can grab a hold of it if you like. Yes. Do I see Jeremiah near me? Roll a perception check, please. Now I roll a nat 20. 26. In that flash of lightning that you see, you catch the rope. Jeremiah is actually a pretty good distance away from you even. And the plate armor he's been wearing is dragging him under. I head towards Jeremiah. With that nine athletics roll, you are going to go down two if you try. I Give me to. half a second. We'll get through another round, and I'll let you try again, okay? Mm -hmm. uh, speaking of which, at a is fine and in fact his sister goes and throws a rope at him which will reach him and he oh lucky son of a bitch he was going to drown too um he catches the rope she begins to pull him in um and with that we're back on oh well anja you've been hanging on to a, a railing what are you doing pull myself up Okay. Or try to. I guess that would be. Oh, that was. 
I told you I was going to roll. I didn't roll a one. I rolled a two. Plus, which thing are we going with here? Oh, I'm saying you can pull yourself up. You're with strong. Ac- with acrobatics or strength? or Yeah, not with a two on the die. Acrobatics would be uh, eight. And it goes down from there. I strength. <laughs> and I strength. it goes down from there. All right. Yeah, because I don't think. Let's see. Do I have ath- oh, I do have athletics. So that's a seven on athletics. Take your pick. I was going to let turn. you pull yourself up off the ship. Oh, but, I thought uh, you, you wanted to make just a hang there. No, you're no, fine. I'm, try- I'm trying to pull. Yeah, I pull myself. I mean. <laughs> you managed to pull yourself up with this ship rolling and tilting as it is. There's an opportune time where you can just kind of fling yourself up over the boat. Oh. Um, go ahead and roll a perception check for me. Uh, 11 plus 4, 15. 15. There's less about seeing stuff now. That flaming sail is gone uh, and the light that went with it, but you hear uh, sounds of shifting from below deck and a crunch and a cry. There's too much going on because, of course, I got my friends that fell overboard, so... Mm -hmm. And we will go ahead and start (coughs) as this continues on. uh, Green lightning flashes down and strikes the mast right at the base of the ship. And you hear a crack and a sizzle. And the smell of smoke is once again in the air. And Bran, if you want to try and go for Jeremiah, go ahead and give me that athletics check. Come on, Bran. Oh, meanwhile, 17. I have to roll. That, that was... is good. Um, also, if it'll help, I mm-hmm. would like to use a high point to give myself an uh, extra dash to do uh, more movement if need be. That works. You manage to swim towards him. He is still sinking and he's getting deeper and deeper below the water. You manage to reach him about 60 feet under the water. And there is panic in his eyes. Yeah, I frantically start tying the rope to him and trying to drag him up. All right. I'm not that strong. (laughs) Hey, Riley. (laughs) Holding the other end of this rope. (laughs) You're tied to the boat. You're fine. I can actually help him too. If I yeah, see but... Riley struggling, I'm going to go help. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. No, it, I, as much as I'm curious about what the hell I just friggin' heard, uh, this is this is more of a, this is definitely an immediate thing I know about. So, yeah. T- <laughs> hey, Bram, make sure you tie it to his arm and not his neck. <laughs> help, help, helpful advice from all Katie. right let's roll a d100 where did you <laughs> that? i'll give you the benefit Thanks. of the doubt at being proficient with medicine you know not to tie the rope around his thank neck. thank you for the advice heidi thank you i probably that. try to like get behind him and wrap it around like either his like his chest underneath the arms or his waist okay and then try to help kick him up uh, and if necessary, I actually cut off some of the armor, like glaives, uh, you know, shoulders, uh, uh, the pauldrons and whatnot to try to lighten his load. Sure. Go ahead. Mm, let's go with sleight of hand, unless you got something else you want to do instead. As far as cutting, making sure we're not stabbing, uh, I'll try sure, A couple stabs okay. are better than drowning. Ten. <laughs> Ten. You manage to get the armor off, although you do cut Jeremiah a bit and blood starts drifting through the water. Anja, Riley, you're holding on to a rope that has some <laughs> dead weight at the end of it. You want to pull? Um... Uh, Actually, you want to do? He's not. Wait, did you tie yourself to a mast, Riley? No, I'm tied to the rail. 
Oh, okay. Because I was thinking you wrap it around the mast and then. <laughs> yeah, you know that question. The mast that was struck that by is... lightning and is cracking and on fire. <laughs> yeah, no, not that one. <laughs> I assume there's more than it's more than a there's single master chip, is it? Main mast. There's only a main mast. Um, well, still, I imagine it's a rail, so it's got, I mean, it's pretty solid railing, right? Sure. And imagine where basically I could take... Oh, that, yeah. She wants to uh, create a lever pulley system. Yeah, I want to, basically I'm making a pulley, so to speak. Survival sound fair? Yeah, that sounds fair. Okay. Come on, damn it. Uh, nine plus four, 13? 13. You managed to make some sort of uh, ah! leverage, and Anja or Riley, whichever one of you wants to make the strength check with advantage. I'll make oh, it. I'll I'm, do it. No, I'm pretty sure I'll be. I'm pretty sure my strength is better than his. A, yeah, a my strength is my worst stat. <laughs> straight, uh, straight strength, right? Straight strength. You are getting a bonus, though. Okay. Well, it's a good thing it was an advantage because I rolled an out one in one of the rolls, but thankfully I rolled so it's a 14 total. 14 total, uh, plus your levy pull. You manage to start pulling him towards the ship. Yes. Ola is ah! next to you, pulling in her brother. Uh, and with her roll, do I have a roll? I don't have a roll for her specifically. Yeah, she is managing to pull her brother in, and her brother uh, is climbing up the side of the staff. We continue on through this storm. You hear Nebby crying out from below deck. She starts climbing up the stairs. Captain, the s- the s- ooh. You Captain okay? The- oh my gosh. I gotta try and remember this voice here. There's, there's a lot of NPCs going around. Captain, the cargo has shifted. Nuki was hit by some of it. Oh shit. And you see Captain Kenza tie it back down. We'll sink the ship if we don't. And we'll continue on. Gosh, yeah, this storm sucks, guys. They it's usually black, do. Pitch black. The sails are once again on fire, but this is the main sails this time. Lightning has hit the mast. What are you guys doing? Pulling them out. All right, go I'm ahead. I'm going to keep doing it. I assume Riley's still helping, right? Yeah, I'm not going anywhere. I'm tied yeah, right no, here. Dude, you got nothing better to do. <laughs> yeah. It's not much I can do unless I want to pull up Mage Hand, but that's not going to help much. Mm-hmm. Oh, that was a very decent roll. That's a 17. That's a 17. Strength, te- strength check. 20. You guys make it to the side of the ship, um, and unfortunately, the sea has stirred up some creatures from down below oh are you fucking kidding <laughs> I mean, just, you know just if we had enough to deal with don't you have enough to deal with no i guess this not. is a lot of stuff i have to keep track of so i, I feel you, like Kyle. no matter what we do the ship is going down <laughs> i feel like that's that's the end goal yeah. we haven't got to the island yet i'm assuming there is a way out of this no, you're dead. Don't worry about it. It's going to be one of those, you know, cliche like, oh, and then we all go under, and the next thing we do, we wake up on the beach. <laughs> no, no, no. I well, actually expect us to wonderful. wake up in like some dank tavern in like uh, in like tanks and whatnot. And it was all a dream. Unknown fluid. <laughs> Unknown fluid. Alive. <laughs> you see your bodies outside the tanks. That's strange. And you look in the <laughs> mirror and you see your brains. <laughs> nice all right uh bran you are on the side of the ship if you want to give me a athletics check to pull yourself up on board you can do that i um, want to make sure jeremiah goes first okay so you're gonna help him out yeah okay that's good because he did not he still Let me did check not. jeremiah real quick uh, strength. Gotta save him. He is in the water, uh, despite your efforts in trying Damn to it. pull him up, or at least help him up from the side of the ship. It's not helping him at all. He is <clears throat> choking on the water around him. 
Anja, uh, Riley, you can attempt to pull again if you wish. Yeah. You I also mean, have cargo does... shifting down underneath the boat. I got, I got it. Bad I'm, things. No, I want to. I we need them. So. How much does Jeremiah weigh now that he doesn't have armor? Because we could almost probably just like pick him up, whether he's conscious or not. Well, he doesn't have an, as much armor uh, at this point. I am. He's it, about two twenty. So uh, w- would it be like, safe to say like DC eighteen, and we can pick him up no matter what? Whether. <laughs> I rolled a 22 oh. on my strength check. You managed to get uh, <laughs> him out of the water. Both of them? Just one of them. And, well, Brand, well, give me. Mm, you were kind of helping him. He said he was going to let it, uh, Jeremiah go first. So that's Yeah, fair. which is why I'm thinking. Roll a D100, Bran. Thirty-eight. Good enough. You managed to get yourself enough out of the water that you don't have to worry about as two dorsal fins appear underneath you. (laughs) (laughs) Nice timing. Oh, by the way, they're not sharks. They're like probably like some other horrible creature. Guys, would Giant I sharks. do that to you now in a hurricane? <laughs> Giant That's elder terrible. sharks or something. I don't know. <laughs> it's, I'm, I'm looking for that damn sea monster because this seems like exactly what it would appear. All right. Let's see. Things are happening on board the boat. Okay. All right. Uh, The sails from above become unfurled as the ropes have burned, being torn to ribbon. The wind blows and gusts. And again, this mast is creaking. Lightning cracks again over in the sky, lighting everyone in a green... A horrible, eerie light. Nebby has gone down below decks. Matt Will was already under there. You've clutched up Jeremiah as well as getting Bran enough out of the water, although the next swell of the sea starts coming in. And I will have you all once again make another saving throw. I've still got the rope, right? You are holding on to the rope in Jeremiah. Do I get advantage? <laughs> what? Oh, shit. I could definitely... Nope, that's a net one. <laughs> this is going to be a very annoying series of... I tell you what. I will make a deal with you. Yeah. I will let you re-roll, but something bad happens. Oh, well, that's a deal. Because right. I always find it more interesting when something bad happens. Well, that was a two. <laughs> <laughs> when you bet something bad's going to happen anyways. All right. I have a question. Brand. Yes. Hi. So, if she's going over, is she going over near me? She will go over near you if that's what's going to happen. And can I attempt to catch her? I rolled a 21 on my save. On your save? Um... I will explain what happened. Is it happens. possible to give her my save? Wait, wait, let in, him explain, DJ. <laughs> let him explain, because he's there's something else going on here. At least he's hinting at it. A, another flash of lightning <laughs> happens <laughs> and strikes the mast again. And it begins to topple over under the strain of the wind and the combined lightning attacks. And comes crashing down towards Anja. And unfortunately, Riley, who has tied himself. <laughs> so disadvantage on deck save? Is that what you I'm got? Disadvantage on deck save. So I'll it's give a you that. Deck, so it's a deck save? 
Instead, I'm taking a deck save. It is a I'm dish. trying to dodge. Yeah. Or are we counting those rolls I just made this my deck save, which would be a grand total of eight if we count the second one. That would be nice. That would be also really cruel. <laughs> so I, I got a 16 with disadvantage. I was just thinking how annoying it'd be. And we get out of the water and then we get back in. We get out of the water and get back in. But the whole, whole night of just not the she best. She is a yours. cruel mistress. <laughs> I'm finding this quite infer, uh, informational. I, I, <laughs> this is great. <laughs> Riley, you take eight damage. Oh, I'm eight more. Da- oh, damn. Eight I'm down to two hit points. Slams oh, into the shit. deck shattering stuff at you. Anja, you do get another roll, because I'm not a cruel DM in that fashion. Which thing? All right, so which de- uh, deck save? Deck save. Okay, that was a lot freaking better. Uh, that's a 17. You will also take eight <laughs> damage as you dive out of the way of the mass come crashing down into you, but the only way out is into the water. You see dorsal fins as you jump oh, in. Are you serious? I'm, I have to go into the fucking water? Don't take a devil's bargain saves, without Kira. a. <laughs> all, right, all right, so, uh, but I did have a hold on the rope, so and the rope was wrapped around the railing, so I mean, at least it's down there with me because I'm not like a fucking. Remember, rope. you already made the other two saves. <laughs> <laughs> I, I I'm fine with going in the drink, but I did have the rope, so I'm gonna assume. The rope is uh, the rope is like still attached with Riley. It is still attached somewhere up near Riley. Yeah, <clears throat> but the deck kind of got splintered apart with the mass, so I don't know. What's wow! All right, the deck, not the railing. Anja D one hundred, Riley D one hundred, Bran oh, D one hundred, and just checking on Cleo down below decks. Man, wouldn't it be nice to have a fourth person up here helping you? I know. No. I was gonna say it's she okay. could be healing. Nu- okay. She could be healing Nuki. Yeah, she could be healing Nuki. That She's taking sense. a nap. <laughs> <laughs> She's still in my hammock. <laughs> <laughs> it's, oh, it's, what a great sleep, everybody! <laughs> I hope. I hope she is taking a nap for realsies. Anja, <coughs> what's your roll? Uh, I rolled a fifty-seven. Fifty-seven. You do have some rope. It's not as much as you were hoping for, but you're holding on to some rope. Riley, would you roll? 61. You see no rope next to you. Oh. Bran. Okay. Other than what you're tied with. (laughs) Yeah. 37. 37. Uh, You can see, and you've lucked out, there is rope that Anja is tied to. Although... um, Jeremiah has gone back down into the water again, but the rope is being held securely by this mass that is laying across on the ship, and there's no way this rope is going to be let go unless another wave comes in. Um, by the way, guys, another wave comes. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> what would you guys like to do with what you have? Riley, you find yourself... Uh, Still tied to the railing with a lot more motion. Oh, oh, nice. <laughs> um, Go ahead not... and give me a perception check first, I'll tell you. Okay. Mm-hmm. Nine. Nine. You don't know what else is going on on the ship. Don't worry about it. It doesn't matter. <laughs> it doesn't I'm matter. Gonna, I have two hit points. <laughs> you have two hit points. You're going down with the ship. It's fine. You yeah. should have yeah. fr- 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 friggin' give you Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to just start it. like watching the storm and be like, well, this is fun. Can't really do anything else. Might as well observe nature and, and see what I can learn from it. This isn't nature, man. This isn't nature. <laughs> I know. I, I realized that earlier, but... <laughs> this is something else. You see the ships going up another wave. A wall of water is next to you as the ship is sailing up. You see a crack of lightning. perfect (laughs) storm! Yeah, exactly. Just like this, you see a crack of lightning from behind. You see this massive figure is swimming in the wave and disappears underneath the ship. And I mean, it's bigger than the ship, Riley. 
Uh, feel free to write that down in your book as the water ruins all the pages. Uh, no, no. Anjo, it's a magical Brand? tome. It's fine. Even if it burns up, I can just resummon it. It ain't a magical tome yet, you son of a bitch. <laughs> what? I don't have Pact of the Tome? Not until third level. Come on. Oh, yeah, you're right. You're, you're right. second. <laughs> that is third level. Right now, I just have the ability to read everything and detect magic at will. Oh, you really need that third level. Yeah, you really need that third level. <laughs> Anja, Bran, how are you guys doing? What would you like to do? So both Anja and Jeremiah are now in the drink. Anja, Jeremiah are both in the drink. Although Anja uh, and Jeremiah, thanks to the rope that you've tied off, normally I would have you roll a dice and see how far away from the boat you ended up. You are next to the boat, and you can climb up if you like. Ah, uh, hell yes. Mm Jeremiah, I will help Jeremiah if I have to. It's I getting will annoying. Get over the ship. Get... I want and... to get more Actually, Jeremiah at this point is able to cling up and start climbing up the ship with his natural 17 he rolled earlier tonight. Oh, good. Yeah. I will finally up. get over the ship, take out my own rope, and mm -hmm. tie myself off. All right. Uh, uh, I need uh... the athletics check to pull yourself up the rest of the way. Anja, I need the same from you. Jesus fucking Christ. Uh, well, that's a 10. Guys, three. Wait, what'd you say? Athletics? Athletics, right? Sorry, that's a nine. Keep on with fucking bad rules. You are still in the water. Go ahead and roll me a d12. No. See if anything no, caught interest in you. I don't want to. <laughs> well, that's a 10. Rolling better on my 12, d12 than I am on my d20. 11 would have been really bad if you had rolled that but you did you rolled a 10 so you're okay <laughs> you did win right oh no i didn't roll a d12 i was going to oh. let you kill yourself as opposed oh. to let okay. me kill you that's fair yeah it's always the dice it's never you the dm never kills anybody it's always the dice <laughs> or the box text All right. And with this round, the wave, your ship manages to crest it before it crashes down on you. The floor underneath you drops. Bran, you tied yourself off correctly? Uh, I was going to if I could drag myself up, but I failed that athletics check. Oh, that's so. right. Yeah. I will let you, both Anja, Bran, you are on the side of the ship as you were clinging to it. So the ship drops. And you can try and use that to your advantage to clamber up. Uh, if you try athletics, you will have, or not athletic. Well, yeah, I'll give you athletics or acrobatics on this one. To climb up? To climb up. Riley. Do you want to hold on to something as your ship falls 30 feet underneath you? Um, so I'm falling 30 feet, effectively, right? <laughs> Unless so, you hold on to the ship for dear life. Well, I'm tied to the ship. so <laughs> You're tied to the I'm ship. Going with <laughs> oh, but it's, it's moving You're around. Kind of bored. <laughs> <laughs> Got it. <laughs> Yeah, I guess I'll, I'll hold on for <laughs> dear life. Go ahead and roll that strength saving throw. Strength? All yep. right. Yeah, this will be good. <laughs> I got 12. You're good. You hold on to the ship as it drops underneath you. Anja, what'd you roll? 12. Same number. You also managed to get up on board the ship. Bran? 13. You are also on the ship as it comes crashing down. Just it dropping from there. You're able to pull yourself on. You hang on, flip over. And everybody make a perception check for me. Uh, oh, then now I rolled a nat 20. See, it's perception checks. Fucking yeah. dice do great on perception checks. 
Uh, that's a nat 20 for 24. Okay. I got a 21. Good. 15. Not as good. Um, Anja, there's no longer any shifting you hear. You see Nebby coming up aboard along with uh, 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 Matwa. Captain, we got the storage tied off. Um, you also notice that the sky turns lighter. That bright light that had disappeared during the storm reappears. Riley uh, and Bran, you will notice this bright light uh, showing up in the distance as well. Do you, and... I realize that this is the statue that people use as like a lighthouse or navigational tool? The ship's a little tossy turvy. The ship's a little tossy turvy, so you'll have to give me a survival check. Uh, but for I've been your... studying for this. You could do it. Ah, uh, twelve. Twelve. In all likeliness, if you're in this part of the sea, if there's a light shining, it's either a lighthouse or the Lady of the Light statue. Uh, and for your earlier question and your perception check, you notice all the above. You also notice that uh, Mosetta, if you look at him, it looks like he's been hit by lightning, caught on fire, and parts of his chest are kind of falling apart. He still seems to be active and still holding on if an undead thing can honestly do that, but he looks worse for shape. And with that, the storm turns almost as quickly as it had come, it calms. And while the ship is still rocking, the rain still coming down, You've managed to survive the hurricane. Oh shit! Um, sur survival check to see if we're in the eye of the storm and it's still gonna happen, or <laughs> <laughs> if you like, go for it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, not twenty. Not or twenty-two. 20. You knew. Uh, did you make? Uh, yeah, I think you did. This was no natural storm, so there most likely is not an eye to a hurricane. Got it. Something called this storm. Uh, you will notice, though, that you are royally and utterly fucked. As you are out to sea with no mast, no sails, and no way to steer your ship towards land. No rudder? No rudder? <laughs> Well, unfortunately, no. And so with that, uh, you other two make me a survival check as which, well. Which uh, two? Anja and Bran. Riley, make me a dread check because you realize this with your wonderful survival. I think oh, I'm glad one. I only rolled an eight. Yeah, what, one what more is time. Dread wisdom? Wisdom. Saving throw, yes. Sorry. Anja, you rolled a... Eight. I don't think I want to see this. You're fine. The survival is, yeah. Bran? 21. 21? No, you no, also no. realize the situation you're in. I got an 11 on my wisdom save. Wait, why do I really need a roll to know that's, that we're fucked? I can, <laughs> I mean, we don't have fucking, we don't have fucking master sales. I mean, come on. I know, I don't need to make a check to know that. You don't need to make a check? Good. Okay, go ahead and roll nope. wisdom. I'll, I'll do that because, I mean, come on, that's anybody should be able to figure that out. Uh, I rolled pretty I, decent, though. I find serenity in knowing that I will go to my god as I rolled a net 20. Very nice. Wow, about time. I rolled a 14. 14. Wisdom save, right? Wisdom save, yes. Yeah, 14. You are all okay. You have a ranger on board. You're with some hardy seamen. Some hardy 
<laughs> semen <laughs> who are all battered and worse for wear. Oh, God. You can see in their eyes that they realize the shit that they're in. <coughs> But surely between all of you, you'll survive, hopefully. We can eat Jeremiah if need be. We can eat Jeremiah if need be. <laughs> I said that. That's out of character. I didn't say that in character. FYI. Uh, <laughs> Jeremiah that, looks around, sees the ship sail. Oh, God, we're going to die. Well, we can eat Riley if necessary. <laughs> I'm all skin and bones. <laughs> I, uh, 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 Captain Kenza takes a look at everyone and sees what's happening to her crew. She knows what's going on. The storm is abated. Go down below deck, get some rest. I'll stay up here and make sure things are okay. Anybody? Ha- Night's is- falling. We'll be there and we'll figure out what to do tonight. After tonight. How are we propelling ourselves? I suppose anybody has mend. As a spell. Uh, I, I think you're uh, giving that spell a little too much credit. <laughs> yeah, it, it may take a while because yeah, the cast time is like a, a little, minute. Just a little too much. <laughs> and it, it only fixes a foot yeah, in man, either man, dimension. Man. And the ship is probably a bit well, bigger. Well, let's see. How many how many feet up do we have to get the, uh, the I think it's a moot point. I don't think any of us have mending. No. Um, I wasn't sure if she might actually have something like that. I will begin attending any wounds. Um, I'm I find, uh, to be honest, I find the situation fine. Uh, this is literally what I'm trained for. I'm trained to deal <laughs> with the most horrid situations and either give hope in life or bring serenity in death. All right, go ahead. Give me a couple of medicine checks. Uh, three is going to be good. 21. Good. 18. Good. 24. Wow. Great. You've checked out Matwa. You uh, take the piece of railing tied to Riley's arm and you use that as a splint for the dwarf's arm. Uh, oh, not not me. <laughs> okay, you fine. don't have a broken arm. Do you want a broken arm? I, mean, <laughs> I, I have two hit points out of 20, so um, I'm sure something's broken. Hey, as long as you have one, you're fine. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 I'll, 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 I, trust I, me, when you go below zero, we'll start rolling for uh, terrible, awful interferes. Got it. Basically, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take and I'm going to concentrate on my hand for a moment and I open it up and there's a bunch of berries there and I'm like, if anybody would like, these actually will help restore health. Uh, how many do you have? Ten. I have. I'm gonna. I will cast the full ten. The full ten. Yep. One, two, three. So, I'm still in relatively okay shape. I'm thinking more Riley is a real. If Riley would like any. Three people are not getting a good berry. Do it only you have gives a preference? you. Be- no, well, there's uh, 14 of you on board. Mosetta's undead, so or a construct. All right, I I don't, I'm not great, but I mean, I'm still better off than like Riley. So Riley should definitely. Well, the thing of it is, though, is because I think you can eat. I think you can eat more than one. It just takes an action to eat each one, but again, it only gives you one hit point back. It doesn't say anywhere that you can't eat more than one. So, yeah, um, Carol, just so I, uh, how many did you make again? I have ten. I can make up to okay. ten, so I'll make, make ten. ten. So, Riley, if you well, if you want my share, you can have mine. Um, I'll give you two if you want more I than that. I didn't lose any hit points, so. Yeah. Oh well, then I didn't need to give you any. Unless well, we no, need the, to the, more, the more important benefit is. It, it, creates nutrients for everyone for a yeah. day. So if we're stranded here for a long while, that's the benefit. And how often can you cast a berry? Like once a day or something? Yeah, I think, well, I guess it's a source of a spell, I think. Let me see if it's... I think I can I can cast two of the two spells, so... Oh, you so we have food indefinitely. as long as we need, and I'm sure we can boil some of the seawater to get the salt out. All right. I said actually this is the, basically... the berry acts as water as well. Oh yeah, well, I then think... we're we're good. You're good. We could be out here forever. 
See, I knew I needed to, I needed to learn something since I literally have no money to buy food. So I need a, I need a spell to help to deal with that problem. <laughs> but I will All give right. you, I will, I will, where it need be, hopefully we won't run anything else today. I will cast it again. But if you want to take, if you want to take a few to get yourself out of the basement, out of two hit points. Uh, I mean, I'll, I'll eat my two, and then I'm okay. going to go down to rest at Ken's Oh, that's you know, true. Suggestion. We can all take a I, short rest. Yeah, I, I think I'm just going to get some food, <coughs> and I say we all rest, if that's all right, after Bram treats everyone. Um, I'd like to go to the captain. After I'm done treating people, it's probably going to be a little while before I get to her. Sure, right, yeah. And you are below decks, you're healing up people, you, you tied off the splint, you've checked on Nuki, who appears to be unharmed. Um, uh, Leo fell out of her hammock uh, at some point, and it looks like she has sustained injuries, although she managed to heal herself. And she's currently saying, you've liked totally survived this hurricane because of my godly presence. You're welcome. You're welcome. And even <laughs> Jeremiah at that point is just... <laughs> I just no, kind Jeremiah of... is passed out. He, he just about died. You saved his life today. Oh, good job, Bran. Damn it. <laughs> you try to kill him? What? No, you're no. stuck with that character forever. That's the one that lives and tells the tale of this whole journey in true Lovecraftian style. I want to. So, is Jeremiah Jeremiah doing any dread saves? Because I fe- he's been through a lot of shit. I know. And I want to see him. <laughs> I want to see. No, him no, no. Terrified. He's been drunk a lot, so he's, he's actually probably faring better than a lot of us. He's an idiot, and so he doesn't always <laughs> comprehend. Or make the best decisions about, you know, what's going on. Yeah. I mean, I know that there's something bigger than the ship underneath the water. (laughs) I'll tell Jeremiah. (laughs) (laughs) Well, yeah, there's whales, man. They're huge. Jeremiah. He's turning into a Californian as well. (laughs) <laughs> Jer- Jer- for Jeremiah, there's there's something that can actually bite, uh, put holes in the ship, either with teeth or claws. We're just trying to scare Jeremiah now. I That's love right. It. <laughs> We're fucking- Roll intimidation, guys. <laughs> I mean, it's not my. In- I'm not in- really intimidating. No, that was that was only a five. So like, I'm not Riley, Riley's trying to like give him a scare, but like he's just too nerdy well, about I'm, it. With, yeah, like, I'm just trying to. I'm just trying to <laughs> share information the, I yeah, learned. He loses the impression behind. Yeah, it. sure. Yeah. sure. So this thing had to be about sixty, two hundred feet long. Yeah, <laughs> I'm gonna I've heard guess. Fishermen like you guys. I'm gonna guess that's what the D12 is for when I was in the water. <laughs> don't worry about it. You know things don't happen. Sure. Uh, Bran, after checking up on everybody, uh, you can climb up to the top deck. Aiden and first mate Aiden and Captain Kenza are both. Honestly, they're not even holding the wheel because at this point it doesn't really <laughs> matter. But they're chatting with each other uh, and you approach. Captain, everybody is well enough. I have tended any wounds that have any severity. All will live. Ancha has provided sustenance in a magical form that will keep them healthy and sustained for however long we need be. Yeah, I will say, uh, Anja, on top of that, Aiden and the captain would refuse your good berries to let someone else eat them. Well, I have, an, I have enough for everybody if I use both spell slots. So I can't, I mean, I can cover, you know, 14 TP people and then some. I can cover 20 people. Okay. If we're looking for that. If you want to do that, you can do that. Yeah. I mean, I think we still have food on the ship, though. You do, but in times of bad weather, the 
first thing that the ship's cook does is to immediately douse the fire. And it's not a let the fire slowly go out. It's take a huge bucket of water, dump it, because otherwise the ship may burn if something bad Got happens. It. And so that stove is cold, wet. You're not getting a fire started. Everyone is honestly miserable. Nope, I use cast both spells then, and I get make sure everyone gets fed, including But me. they don't go to bed on an empty stomach. So exactly. That's good. Um, I'm useful. Thank you, Brand, for making sure everyone is doing okay, and if you see Anja, thank her for making sure maybe between the two of you, we're not going to die out here. Do you know where we are and how far away from any land? Uh, Aiden cuts in and he'll point out if you see that light over there, the one kind of shifting colors from a bluish to a white light, that there is the Lady of the Light. Looks like we're fairly close. It'll take some time to determine whether we're actually going to be headed in that direction or not. Could you tell me what the Lady of the Light is? I do not know about it. The Lady of the Light is the uh, one of the gods that they worship on the island of Farzeen. Uh, some say it's a 60-foot tall statue. And between it and the lighthouse that Farzeen has, uh, it's one of the many important sailing tricks to know. You're able to figure out where the island is and you know which side of the island to sail on. You sail on one side, you end up getting caught in the reefs and your ship is torn to pieces. Sail on the right side, and you're able to get through and out of the sea and out into the open ocean. I kind of look over the edge towards the rudder, realizing that I already uh, know what's going on. Can we make a makeshift rudder? The rudder's only going to go so far. We can probably repair it in... Let me check. We'll be able to repair that fairly easily, but the issue is that we have no other means of propulsion other than the sea currents below us. Yeah, rudder doesn't matter if you can't. Do we have Move oars? Boards. The only things we have are the cargo below the ship. Right now, it's pray to the gods. And uh, if you have any more offerings to give to the bitch queen, I can't believe we fucking forgot when we left for Zante. But now would be the time to throw something valuable over. Otherwise, we're doomed out here, I'm afraid. At least until another ship comes by. Or if we get lucky enough to drift close to land. And I, I will do say, what I can to comfort the crew. Sure. I will give you, them prayers and let them know that if, they, if something does happen to us, all of our souls will be properly sorted and at peace. That's comforting. That's so check. comforting, man. Did you tell, Brand, did you say that you told all of us about that? Eleven. What now? Did you tell all of us about what Aiden said about the offering and stuff? Or, sorry, I missed the last part, what you said. Oh, I was talking about just in general comforting them if death brings us. Oh, okay. If you die, when you die, the Lady of Death will be open-armed waiting for you. She won't actually be open-armed. She doesn't really care about you as long as your soul gets to the other side. But it'll get there <laughs> through the Raven Queen. <laughs> What's your role? I rolled an 11. <laughs> Half of your congregation in this <coughs> moment are 
passed out, tired, whatever endorphins from the good berries healing them a little bit, injuries they've taken, and they are passed out. The ones who are awake, Anja, Riley, Jeremiah, Cleo. Oh, wait, nope, Cleo's asleep again. Dang it. Gosh. Caitlin, you need to control your character a little bit better than this. She just <laughs> sleeps all the damn time. Uh, uh, do hear your message, and whether they are comforted, comforted by the fact is up to them in this case. So I'm, I've actually decided that I'm pretty sure seen... the, uh, uh, Cleo is actually like uh, 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 sort of like a Paris Hilton. Like Tuttle, yeah? That's hot. <laughs> I, it's not hot right now. It's cold. No, I, you know what? As I hear this message, I kind of go, wait, we're going to get out of here. I'm confident we're going to get out of here. I don't know why. I just am. I don't think this is the end of our road at all. We just need to figure out a way to propel the ship. And I'm sure there's a way to do it. Do we still have an anchor? You do still have an anchor. I've heard a trick where you could like something like you take a toss or the toss the anchor or something and then or ropes and you can literally pull yourself along too. So you're not totally adrift. I don't think we have a strong man that can Herculean toss an anchor. We well maybe not an anchor, but I mean maybe or even ropes on grappling hooks and see if they catch something. Oh, gosh. Yeah, that reminds me. Uh, Brand, did you want to attempt to uh, fix Mozetta? Mozetta, yeah. I don't want to. That's if you want to. He is useful. Twenty-five medicine on 25. him. Twenty-five. That's really good. All right. And you do a stupendous job. Now he looks more like a mummy. Mm. Honestly, in some cases, that's the best you can do. Because as you try to stitch him up in certain areas, the stitches burn and disappear. And you're able to patch him up some way. But much like the ship itself... He seems severely damaged. And you can't seem to fix him as well as you... As well as your skill says you ought to. It's a dead body. Sure, there's some weird arterial tissues going on I kind of get the set. I will let it be as best I can. uh, But I do get the sense that there's more of a straight up connection between him and the ship versus patching him up my own way. Huh. Got one broken arm that just won't heal. Exactly. Uh, so night falls, the rain is steady, the waves are stronger than normal, especially now that you have no way to uh, uh, navigate the ship quite as well through them. And even after a while, the ones who try to stay up eventually fall asleep. And you never wake up again as the ship sinks to the bottom of the ocean. That's the Cred campaign, guys. Woo! Ah, oh, thank you. I did such a wonderful job. Thank uh, you. No. Oh, this is great. It's great. We haven't even gotten to the campaign. That's the ironic thing about this. Uh, actually, that is the campaign. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you guys, that's the first uh, page of the book. You did the first part of the book. Good job. You made it. You haven't even seen the island. I know. Well, you saw the, the lady in the light, and that's all that you were going to get, and now you sunk to the bottom of the ocean, and you're all dead. I figured it would just become deep ones or something. Some of them I might. mean, Who knows? I, I would be interesting to try. 
under the sea, under the sea. I've got some I've got some pearls that are pretty expensive that I can offer up to the sea. Maybe they'll give me some cool powers. Yeah, I have a Riley I can offer up to the sea. There you go. <laughs> Riley offers them a pearl. I, I just imagine like, like Brand behind me and I'm up at the stern. <laughs> <laughs> like it's Titanic. Titanic. Like ah! Look, I've got pearls. I've got pearls. And the deep ones just open up. <laughs> pearls three times as big as yours. Like, why would we want that? And then Bran comes up behind you and tosses you off. <laughs> no. Uh, you yeah. eventually wake up as... Uh, give me constitution checks. Check. Check. All of us? All of you. Jesus. 14. That was terrible. Uh, four. Four. Two. Bran, you are the first one to wake up from everyone snoozing. The ship is no longer rocking as it was. And if you choose to climb up, or at least exit out of the room where everyone's sleeping, there is bright sunshine you hear especially with your passive perception you hear waves and seagulls I look to where the seagulls are and you climb up out of mm-hmm. the ship and about 300 yards or 400 meters uh I don't know if that's true. It's uh, like 390, but it's... <laughs> yes! Never! Close! Yeah! It matters I'm because we're nerds. Deal it's with a, it. It's not the <laughs> we, I have the conversion. I like to calculate at the hypotenuse of the angle of the sun. <laughs> I, don't mock me! It's pi r square, guys. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's where the circle. Jeez. Oh, shit. All right, I'll give you my blue eyes white dragon. <laughs> I believe in the heart of the cards. The heart of the cards? <laughs> Thank God. You are... Did you not play Yu-Gi-Oh? No. I never played it. I never I played it, but it. I, I used to watch, we used to watch the cartoon. Yeah, oh, I watched Jesus. the cartoon. I never played it. <laughs> I just know it from, uh, uh, from Nerd Osmosis. Oh. Nerd Osmosis. Nerd Osmosis, yeah. Nervous. All right, so 300 yards is uh is land. Is land you see um jungle, beach and you see a volcano. Nice. Uh, yes, there's the volcano. Rising up in the center of the island. And I will say you are probably about midday the entire crew has slept hard through that night and through that storm i didn't dream like so ha i bet i was too tired to i dream. will seek out the captain and rouse, and rouse her to inform her of our location she climbs up the deck looks Oh, God, we made it. This is Farzine. And she runs down. Everybody up! I will look at Farzine. But then I'll actually mm-hmm. turn and look at back out at the sea. The opposite direction. Mm-hmm. To see if there's anything out there. Make a perception check. Sorry, I'm supposed to uh, hide my face. You know, you were 13. the one that said never ever look for anything in a Cthulhu game. This is true. <laughs> what are you doing? This is more musings. But he wants to get to the Cthulhu stuff. This is more stuff. musings than anything else. <laughs> Just open water. Who knows what's dun, dun, underneath? Dun. Who knows above? You could have been out there right now, busy dying. Starving or dehydrating, for all you know. 
Uh, but with that, Captain Kenza yells at the crew, We're getting on the skiff. Lower the anchor. We're leaving Mosetta here to guard the ship. Let's get to land, everybody. I, I like, very groggily wake up because with that frigging constitution check, I almost slept awful. through it. Yeah, you stay, and they're just taking yeah. the boat to shore. <laughs> You wake up, Mosetta's staring over school. you. Oh, damn it! <laughs> Mom, five more minutes! I'm so excited. I've never seen a volcano before. <laughs> yeah, just get, 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 get your head really deep in there. I'm sure it'll... <laughs> Maybe. Alright. Uh, I will gather up everything. Make sure everyone's okay to go. And did we get a long rest, FYI? Just wondering. You did get a long rest. Oh, okay. Sorry, sorry to You're welcome. I just figured we should get that out of the way before shit happens. Uh, we absolutely should. I didn't need no long rest. Good for you. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me, I believe you used a key point to yes, save the son one. of a bitch I was hoping would drown. <laughs> he did. I got another one. I only got two, though. Just trying to get rid of an NPC. You couldn't let me have it. Suck. All right. You're like it was a player. That's fun. That's a different story, but. <laughs> okay. Got all that. I assume you help get the ship or the skiff down into the water. Unload the anchor. Uh, as the skiff is down in the water, you're all in there. Captain Kenza is checking, making sure. And then she disappears from the side of the ship. And in a minute or two, pops back up. She's wearing the knapsack from the Rizante, carrying the Wilkmite stones. And then slides down the side of the ship into the skiff with the water says, all right, what are you waiting for? Let's get to land. I'll get yeah. you All right. I'll help. Give me a strength check there, Riley. Okay. That's a two, but I get a plus one, so. Three. That's <laughs> your <laughs> uh, I will... I will help. Uh, I'll help get us there. Okay. Go ahead and roll. <clears throat> All right. So, what strength check you said? Strength check. And... Come on, damn it. Well, hey, that's a seven, so that makes it a ten. There you go. It's way well, better that's... than his. It is way better than his. It's and all way better than <laughs> Jeremiah, who also rolled. Okay. So, are you ready for this? Yeah. Box text. Box text. We, rocks oh, fall and oh, everyone. Oh. Rocks fall and everyone dies. Volcano explodes. We all melt in horrible pain. <laughs> the vestiges of last night's hurricane can still be seen in the choppy waters and poor visibility pieces of other ships and other bits are floating in the water. The skiff makes slow, wryly, <laughs> but steady progress towards the shore of Farzine. The rising and falling of waves altern uh, alternately hide and reveal the folly behind you and the beach ahead. Descending into the trow of a particularly large wave, the skiff strikes something below the surface. <coughs> I look. Everyone? I assume we actually stop. Oh, right? yeah, I totally look. I'm so interested. Oh, you make such a sudden stop that I need a dexterity saving throw. We're all seated. Well, screw you. That was good. Uh, dexterity save 23. Good. 16. Good. 13. Barely. 
Yay! As far as your crew, two of the triplets fall out. Aiden, Captain Kenza, and Nebby all fall out of the boat. And with that, Blood starts pooling up in the water as one of the dwarves' heads comes up in the water. Help! Can I scoop Roll for him initiative. Out? Oh, I gotta say, can I scoop him out? Mm-hmm. Oh, Jesus. It's on your turn. That's an eight. An eight for Anja. Nine. A oh. nine for Bran and a twelve for Riley. And this is going to be very bad for you guys. So I'm going to pull up Cleo. Well, you know what? Let's do Jeremiah. Jeremiah. Because I have his character sheet up here. And he rolls a... A 14. Ooh. And don't worry about what's in the water. It's horrible. Okay. Bran, I assume you have a very good uh, dex modifier, yeah. correct? Okay. So you see one of the dwarves poking his head above water, crying for help. We'll start with Jeremiah, who selflessly dives into the water with his great sword and little to no plate mail. And as he does so, taking a deep breath before diving in, his athletics sucks and he starts sinking down into the water. Apparently he can't swim. Oh my god. He's just like... He, he's he's acting as a decoy so everyone else can escape. Let's let's honor his sacrifice and move on. <laughs> I'm I'm getting so annoyed with just chasing hey, him Riley, down. That you know, I'm remember that scene we were talking that. about? I think it's happening now. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and failing his first dread roll, you just see a bunch of water and bubbles and flashing. It's fine. So. Uh, Riley, what are you up to? Um, do I see what's attacking them? What's your passive perception? Uh, 14. Two, well, one medium-sized shape under the water and one large-sized shape under the water. Uh, cool. I'm gonna try and Eldridge Blast the large shape. Go for it. Uh, cool, 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 cool. Eldridge Blast. 26 to hit. 26. The blast bolts underneath the water itself, writhing up, and you do hit it. Uh, all right. Damage is going to be a nine. All right. Let me write that down here. Oh, you're all going to die. Okay. Not not me. I'm going to propel this little boat with Eldridge Blast if I need to. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> it's a plan. Yeah, just stick my hand under the water and... <laughs> 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 it's like the boat's farting. It'll work. It's only 300 yards. All right. Uh, and with that, Bran, you are up. You easily um, see these shapes in the water. I will grab four. Uh, which of the dwarves is sticking these out? Uh, Matwa. I will grab for Matwa and try to pull him back over the edge of the boat. Go ahead and make a strength check for me. 
And go ahead and take advantage because he doesn't want to be in the water, it turns out. Advantage. Seven. <laughs> That's, wait, seven with advantage? Yeah, five and a seven. I, I saw the rolls. I, he right. is panicking. Uh, and you are unable to pull him in. Uh, with that, oh, the um, big guy is up. Yeah. Oh, sorry, unless you have something um, else, Bran. I really can't do that. I didn't make an attack. Yeah, no, that's it. That's all I can do. Okay. With that, from the Eldritch Blast, you see a large deep one come out of the water. Bran, it is not the same one that you have seen earlier. It's actually smaller. But this massive thing with part of the head of a shark and what should be flippers are hands with serrated claws and it comes up and willy nilly let's see there's three of you yes Mm -hmm. one two Anja five six Bran what about Cleo don't forget about Cleo (laughs) (laughs) you get Jeremiah instead Jeremiah's Uh, in the water. He's fine. And he swings at you, Bran, as you're trying to save this dwarf that it was trying to eat. And let me double check here. Yeah, this is going to hurt. 20 to hit. That'll hit. All right. That's cock die. That is going to be... 13 (laughs) slashing damage as it goes and it just we'll say it takes a bite out of you Uh, but now we are down to Anja this monstrous thing just popped out of the water and took a bite out of Bran what would you like to do is it an aberration it it is is not shucks okay so Oh, by uh, the way, before we get started, hmm? give me another dread roll as this monstrous thing pulls up. And that is Riley and Bran as well. What the hell is wisdom save, right? Wisdom save. Jesus. Well, I rolled a 17, so I think I did pretty good. You're fine. 13. You're okay. 16. Also Okay. No, it seems like this dream that you had the other night seems to have steeled you from this horror. All right, so is it within my reach so I can try to hit it? You can take a step up there and start swinging at it. Uh, Bonus action, I want to cast Hunter's Mark. Okay. Um, What does that give me? That just gives me more damage, right? What damage and then you can track it. All right. So I'm going to take, uh, well, I think I actually this round I can only draw one weapon. I don't have that other feet. Oh, 17 on the die. So this is with my scimitar. So that's a 23. 23 will hit. So Hunter's Mark does what? How much damage do I do extra? 1d6. So it's going to be... Uh, 2d6 plus 4. Jeez. You shouldn't be level 2. You should be level 1 right now. Fuck you. Uh, <laughs> 5 plus 4 is 9 points of damage. All right. <laughs> Let's see. That is... Okay. Uh, and with that, this other shape comes in. And... Oh... To the poor Jeremiah. And you see a pool of blood come up from where Jeremiah was. You killed Jeremiah. Guys, calm down. He's an NPC who probably has more hit points than you anyway. You do get that feeling. And I don't do, I don't, and I'm not that bad, so. Mm hmm. 
Uh, so at this point, we are back to the top of the round. Uh, the sailors are swimming, are getting back into the boat. The ones in the boat with you, uh, other than... It doesn't make sense for Cleo not to do anything. So let's go ahead. She has some sort of spells, right? Yeah. Say, does she have, like, Toll the Dead? Oh, that would be a good one. Let's see. I do have Cleo up here. Spells... Yeah, that would be. She's. Does she uh, have that? Yes, she does have that. <gasps> That's All right. Such an awesome it's spell. It's been damaged. I love it. It has been damaged. All right. Let's see. Uh, that passes its saving throw. God damn it. Yeah, natural seventeen on the die. Uh, and so then we will go back to poor Jeremiah in the water. You don't know what's happening below there. He's going to learn to be a fighter. And you see out of the water roiling underneath dark blue blood start pouring up to the surface. Like Way to go, blackness. Jeremiah! Well, you don't know what he did yet, so don't worry about it. Well, I'm but dark blue blood is Just I'm gonna assume ink, is not all. his. Yeah, yeah, no. <laughs> he stabbed the uh, deep one's ink sack. It's really pissed off because it was gonna write a whole novel. <laughs> no more ink now, gosh. Riley's gonna be mad too. Speaking of Riley, Riley, oh. what are you up to? Uh is it my turn? It turn is your yet? turn. Oh it is. Mm -hmm. Um yeah, I'm gonna try and Eldridge blast this big one again. All right, go for it. Woo! And I got a 27. Nat 20. Woo! Yeah! So, right. was that uh, double damage? Mm -hmm. Double damage. If you're using D D Beyond, it might have actually already set it up on the deck. It, it did set it up. It looks like it gave me 2d10. So, 12 damage. All right. That's awesome. D and D Beyond is cool. It yeah. is. They should sponsor us. <laughs> You blast this thing in the face, giving Matt well enough time to climb up. Bran, you are up. Yes, I will attempt to attack it. Uh, first, I will attack with the dagger. Uh, 14. That will miss. It and then I bounces will a, off its hardened slimy plate. I will spend a Kai point to do a flurry of blows. Oh, Bran. Um, yeah, I'll, first I'll do the offhand attack. I'll do that. Okay. Do that dope monk shit. 12 will miss, and then <laughs> something. Uh, 20 will hit. 20 will hit. Four. Minimum damage of four. All right. <laughs> You know, you just keep pounding away. All right. And gosh, I think the three of you have stroke it now, but yep. Riley, you're in the back. I'd say yeah, uh, me and Bran are like front line and Riley's behind us. Yeah, I'm just throwing Eldridge Blast from the safety of my spot in the boat. <laughs> All right. I will say, as you stare into this large, bulbing black eyes, there's this sheen of cunning. And instead of striking at any of you, it places its massive hands on the boat and shoves down as hard as it can. Okay. And I will have each of you make a dexterity saving throw. Ha! 19 on the die, so that's a dexterity save. 25. Ah, nat one. <laughs> you go <laughs> flying up <laughs> into the water. All right. You played seesaw. Yeah. And, uh, I'm like surfing. <laughs> you are underneath the water right now, Riley. Uh, and that was a little surprising to you since you rolled a nat one. Uh, what's your con modifier? Uh, plus two. 
plus two. You have three <coughs> rounds to get to the surface or you drown. Come on, Riley. Anja, you're up. Alright, I draw my other weapon so now I can take two attacks. Oh my fucking god, that's a pair of twos on the dice, so that ain't gonna hit shit. Wow. Nope, that's two misses. I assume an under... Yeah, I know 14 doesn't hit, so... 14 doesn't hit. All right. And we are to the other deep one. And Riley, as you are head first into this water, you see this other creature fighting off against Jeremiah. Jeremiah's great sword is glowing white light in this inky blackness <laughs> that the deep one hearing something entirely different splash into the water and probably much easier bait swims out of this cloud taking a missed opportunity attack from Jeremiah and it comes over to you. And go ahead and make me an acrobatics or an athletics check as it grabs onto you. Is this to escape it? Mm hmm. Um, acrobatics, I guess. Okay. Or 17. 17. It rolled a 16 on the die. And let me pull up uh, plus three, a 19. And Riley, as you can feel the blood pumping in your brain from lack of oxygen, we're going to end there tonight as you are trapped in the clutches <laughs> of a deep one that is going to hold you underwater. Oh, dick. I needed a good place to end it. I thought it was there. No, that's Guys, great. I can't wait. That for two is. Weeks. Yeah, two weeks from now, we'll find out if Riley's going to be able to escape it. Uh, Riley, we can talk about the uh, issues of not having a breath of air underwater. It's not good. It's uh, fine. It's fine, sure. Eldritch Blast doesn't require a uh, somatic component, or not somatic. Verbal. Verbal component, does it? It it totally does. Um, <laughs> but it's fine. I'll use my claws. There you go. But we'll we'll figure that out next week, guys. Like a machete um, fight. <laughs> <with fingernails. laughs> I clawed its eyes. <laughs> All right, guys, uh, once again, thanks to our sponsor, Pirate Dog Dice, for... I don't actually have any Pirate Dog Dice. I was going to thank them for all the nice rolls I had tonight. <laughs> but instead, I'm going to thank them for all the bad rolls that they had tonight. I will say my Pirate Dog Dice, my Murder Hobo Dice, rolled a lot of sixes, and I really appreciate that. Uh, and then, thanks to Odd Fish Games, turns out the only Odd Fish game is not our sponsor, but the horrible things that are going to devour and eat my players. Finally, uh, watch us on Twitch, watch us over on YouTube. If you want to follow us on Twitter, you can do that. If you want to join on our Discord, find out a little bit more about what happened, you can chat us up there, buy cool swag. Uh, eventually, we're going to get the Cred Campaign shirt. It'll be amazing on the bottom of your uh, skateboard. It's essentially a picture of Riley going... <laughs> <laughs> it's it's gonna be I want to do the volcano with Cthulhu coming behind it I really like I started no, 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 working no. You get, on you get, it you just get the you just get the little raft with like the four characters represented as stick figures we just have Cthulhu coming up you know <laughs> right from the Jaws camp nah. uh, uh, oh there you go well he said he wanted the uh, the volcano in it so maybe we can mm -hmm. incorporate stick figures too because this this stream is all about stick figures uh, and then if you want to listen to our podcast, you can do that. Follow the link on the show here. But once again, I'd like to thank my players, uh, Anja, Carol, wave at the camera, Riley, Ernie, and Bran, DJ. 
thank you for a uh, lovely evening. Uh, Cleo, feel better. Uh, Caitlin, yeah. when we see you, we'll see you in two weeks. Maybe you can actually join in the fight and do something a little bit hey, better Cleo, than that failed. Cast a heal on me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and with that, everybody wave to the cameras. You have a good night. Enjoy your critical role next.